everybody and welcome back to my channel and I just wanted to introduce our new kittens since Minnie died it's it was really really hard for me and we randomly ended up going to the animal shelter and they had a bunch of cute kittens so we actually adopted two brothers and I wanted to introduce them we got them about a month ago and we renamed them and oh my god they are so squirmy this is rusty and they're about three months old we love them and we still have them separated from the other kitties but this is rusty say hi rusty and we have ferris bueller right here and he's more fluffier and smaller and they're actually brothers but i wanted to definitely introduce them they're so freaking cute and Ferris purrs all the time and they give, they usually give licks on noses and foreheads and they're adorable and they get their last round of shots this Saturday, but I wanted everybody to say hi. And today I wanted to talk about making ghee and you can actually buy ghee at Trader Joe's. I just finished recently my bottle this is for eight fluid ounces and as you can see it is all gone and that's what it looks like on the inside but this little tiny little jar is four dollars and i wasn't too crazy about the taste you should definitely make ghee because the ghee that you will make that the recipe i'm going to show you today is way better than the trader joe's if you don't have any other options and you're not good with cooking I would say give ghee a try once it's really super easy to make and I will show that to you today but this is an option if you have a Trader Joe's near you and for the recipe for the ghee again I'm using the Nom Nom Paleo book and it is on page 37 and she has all these cute little cartoons and pictures and stuff and all we're gonna use for her recipe is one cup, two sticks. And I go to Costco and I got, this is three eight ounce bars, which is one and a half pounds. This is the Kerrygold grass fed. And I really, really love this. The first time I tasted the ghee that I made at home, I couldn't stop um, oming because it was so freaking good. And these are what they look like. And my ghee lasted about three weeks to a month. And oh my god, my kitten's gonna play with this box. That's so cute. But um, these are what they look like right here. And you'll get a huge jar. I have an empty spaghetti sauce jar that I ran through the dishwasher. And every time I make another batch of ghee, I'll just run it through the dishwasher again. And just make sure you do not store ghee in plastic it's better to store it in a cool dry place in a glass jar like i said you could use an old spaghetti sauce jar or anything like that that you have laying around and it has step-by-step -step pictures you are going to need cheesecloth i got mine at walmart in the craft section it was really cheap go in the kitchen so i can show you how to make this let me put my first thing of butter in here and we're going to melt this butter in the saucepan over low heat. I have an electric stove and I have mine on setting three. And as this melts, the clear fat is going to separate from the milk solids. We're going to continue simmering gently and keep a close eye on the butter. Bubbles will form and then gradually get smaller until the surface of the butter resembles a foam. So I'll be back in one second when I'm further through. Okay, I just wanted to give a quick progress. We can see that some of the milk solids are starting to separate. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble. And we're going to need bubbles to form and gradually get smaller until it resembles a foam. So we have a little bit more to go. Okay, soon we're going to see the milk solids turn brown and it should be like a light toasty brown kind of a color okay soon we're going to see the milk solids turn into a light brown color 
and some of them are going to clump together. We're going to remove the pan from the heat when the milk solids turn a deep golden brown and start falling to the bottom. And this happens in about 8 to 10 minutes after the melted butter starts bubbling. This is almost to the point. I'm just waiting for it to turn a little bit more golden brown until I go ahead and put it through the cheesecloth. And I just wanted to show you the progress of this. Okay, I think I like this consistency. So let me go grab my cup. The, for the first step, I'm going to actually put this into a plastic measuring cup with my cheesecloth and strainer so it can I can let it cool off for like 10-15 minutes before I actually put it directly into my glass jar. Here I have my cup that I'm going to pour my ghee into and here is my strainer and I already cut my cheesecloth into three layers. And you're just going to pour this on top making sure that it's on straight and everything. And it might take a couple minutes for it to all drain. As you can see, it's still dripping down some. You can see all the milk deposits right there. And I went ahead and cooked up my last two sticks so this isn't just ghee from one stick this is actually the amount you would get from your two sticks of butter and look at all of that And like I said, this cheesecloth is really, really cheap. You can get it at Walmart in the craft section. And let me cool this off and then I'll show you how much that I collected from all three sticks of my butter. Okay, I just wanted to show everybody how much I filled up my jar. This jar tomato sauce holds 24 ounces as you can see it's a little bit under that it's probably about 20 ounces I would guess and this will last me a long time you do not need to keep this in the fridge but if you do keep this in the fridge it can last up to a year but personally I like it when it's melty like this it will get a little bit solid as it dries in my house personally um, but it's melty for the most part and it's easier to use and I use it for cooking I use it to put on vegetables sometimes I use it for everything so I hope this helped you out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please follow me on my new Facebook page and you can find all the links to my Pinterest and everything like that and my links down below. Thanks and remember to subscribe. Bye!